So the question is, how do you differentiate between self-expression and self-acceptance? And I'm wondering this because most of social media, part of the social experience is utilizing the external to add on to our identity. It's the clothing we wear, the haircuts, the style, the jewelry, exercising, coloring our hair, piercings. And on social media, it's you know filters. And not filters as a way of expression, but filters as the standard for how we present ourselves. When is it expression? When are you expressing part of yourself? And is that expression founded on a need for validation? When is it acceptance? And is that acceptance founded on self-love? I'm str- Right now, I'm struggling with the idea of collective work. On Saturday, I watched In the Heat of the Night starring Sidney Poitier. And I just recorded an episode of the Nothing Moves Without Us a Black Culture podcast talking about the movie. And just seeing a parallel for what the black experience is. I had a conversation with a friend yesterday and I said, it doesn't feel like the black experience has gotten better because it doesn't feel like the social experience has gotten better. Representation, yeah, it matters, but who's representing you? I talked about Denzel Washington playing Alonzo on training day. He literally called himself King Kong. He called himself a monkey. And that's what got him got got an Oscar. Not Malcolm X, right? Not, not any of the other films he's done. Sidney Poitier, an impeccable role. But they gave it gave it to Rod Steiger. And again, seeing the experience what's what's really gotten better right besides besides individuals having more access to capital and money what's changed about the black experience especially within police relations affirmative action workplace diversity having a body having a black body having a female body having a lbgtq plus body having a native american american body just be represented that doesn't mean anything for the for, for that group's culture because who is to say that that individual embodies their culture represents their culture is going to incorporate some of their culture existence doesn't mean anything on its own representation doesn't mean anything on its own without the culture and heritage being part of it because it could just be someone who's just assimilated into the american standard and they just hey i'm no i got this job (laughs) because affirmative action right diversity and equal employment all that that's just affirmative action in, in a new light doesn't mean anything on the surface i'm slowly starting to feel right that i'm slowly starting to feel like there's no point to I'm still I've been saying for the past two years my like the height of my peace in life and I talk about today's a good day to die I'm saying that you know at any point when I check out if I have the the privilege of being conscious I want to go out knowing that yo I did my best and that being enough but you look at the work someone like Sidney Poitier provided, Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, Mega, e- Mega Evers, whose assassination just passed on June. Excuse me. On June twelfth. If you look at the long history of your group, your oppressed group, right? If your group has been oppressed. If you look at the long history of oppression, you look at the the leaders who have been in your group, you look at the work, the efforts, and you look at where your group is now, do you feel that what this experience has become 
Is it more about the freedom to express yourself? The freedom to exist and just do what you want to do when you want to do it? Is it rooted in learning to accept yourself? Is it founded on self or is it founded on other people, right? The self accept you you can have all the self acceptance you want and need. Do you have social acceptance? You can have all the self expression you want and need. Do you have social expression? Are you allowed to express the myriad layers part of your the myriad and layered parts of yourself? Yesterday on that phone call, you know, I got to, I got to be authentic. Just laugh and curse, say nigga, say bitches, say all all the things that yo they're just part of my vocabulary, and I know that the person I'm speaking to understands what I mean. They know I'm not trying to disres- disrespect anyone. I'm not trying to disregard. I'm just sharing the story. I'm sharing the experience, and they get it. Is that your is that your truth? Is that your experience now? Is that are you allowed that level of acceptance and expression in society now? Excuse me. Are you allowed that level of expression in society? And I've been watching Married with Children. I started watching Modern Family. Eric and I started watching it. And I watch Ed O'Neill, right? He has this compo- I've been using the word pol- polarizers like my new word. He has this completely polarized Life switch, right? Married with children, he was, he was impoverished, right? Shoe salesman is trying to get by. Now he's a multi-millionaire. Still a beautiful wife. Peggy Bundy was a beautiful woman. Still a beautiful wife. You know, those shows offer a different dynamic on what representation should be, right? All of these shows make men incompetent now. They're disrespected. And I watched Married with Children, man, and I I love that show. I loved that show as a kid growing up because it was funny. And on on a level, it was just relatable, right? You're just trying to get by, man. Just trying to get by. But the height of that show, right? Where people see misogyny, where people see the victim mindset, right? The victim mindset doesn't allow you to see that the true heroes of that show are Marcy Darcy, Kelly Bundy, and Peggy Bundy. Yeah, Marcy has Jefferson. Marcy marries doofuses and lames. But Marcy's about her business. Right? The minute Al does something misogynistic, which he's just going to do because that's just who he is as a... As a reality based person Right As a reality based character Yo that's Al is just who Al is He's a dude He's a bigot He's ignorant He's closed minded You know it exists in society And Marcy's response isn't Cowering and saying You can't do that And that's it Yo she shows up She protests She calls her team over They protest in the shoe store she gets at him, she plays him. They get at each other. That's what it's supposed to be. When people step out of line, you check them. You don't look for other people to do it. Yeah, Al makes his comments about Peggy. Peggy makes her comments right back about Al. Peggy is a realistic character too. Kelly, yo. Kelly's the alleged bimbo of the family, right? Kelly always got a job. Kelly know how to get bread. The guys Kelly date are dumber than she is. Bud, who's supposed to be the smartest one in the family, can't get a job, can't go to, can't go to college. 
everyone gets it fairly and equally and that's the representation that's that's the real form of expression you express and then you get checked when your expression is uncalled for when it has no validity when it doesn't belong in this society We're not allowed to express anymore. Or the expression that we offer is masked behind all the other different layers of just what's socially accepted. It's not social acceptance. It's what's been socially accepted past tense. You're not allowed to change the rules, right? There's no, uh, no, there are no new standard standards. There are no, there's no new precedents. What's been established before is the standard for society. So right now, I don't feel any of it matters. Right now, there is no peace. You pass away. Yeah, I did my best, but to what end? What really changed? Is life really just about the self? And maybe that's what I just can't get through. Right, that's that's the game, right? The game is life needs to be about self. And I've been challenging the idea of you know, finding the ways that I'm a player hater. I haven't been engaging on TikTok because I feel like a player hater. I, I you know, I just scroll and I just see shit and I'm like, yo, this shit is exhaustive. This shit is exhausted. Like where's the value? But it's also me, right? The algorithm knows me, the algorithm feeds me whatever it thinks. Whatever it thinks is best, right? Sometimes it's right. Does it get better? Does it get better? And do you... Hope it gets better, or do you believe deep in your heart that it gets better? Not even in your lifetime, for the next generation. Right? If it doesn't get better in your lifetime, or for your generation, which generation gets it better? Or is this just what it is, and is this just the game? That's all I got. Peace.